Once upon a time, in a land to the north, there was a boy whose gains went back and forth. He tried to get swole and fill his heart's gaping hole, but the gains did not last. He felt he had no control. But one day at the gym, a large man came to him. I see you struggle, young lad, though your routine isn't that bad. It's in your soul you must grow by embracing the way of the bro. It starts from your bed and the first thoughts in your head before you open wide for the ultimate breakfast you're fed. Today I'm gonna to show you guys my daily routine to become the ultimate bro. So most men will pre-exhaust their grip strength before getting out of bed in the morning, but being a bro, it's all about getting into an anabolic state as early as possible. The only loads that we care about are the ones in the gym and our living room floor. May this be a day of loyal gains with a lasting pump to fill my veins. May they question if I'm natty or not, as my growth never stops. Of my reps and sets, I may lose count because a bro has no maximum amount. Morning pump is complete and now it's time for a meal one that some people call breakfast. Yeah, so a lot of people also think that liquid calories are our mortal enemy, but to us bros, it is the pixie dust of gain. So not only do we follow a strict eight to nine meal meal plan, we also follow the GOMAD diet, the gallon of whole milk a day. So there is approximately 2,400 calories in both of these, 123 grams of protein and uh, zero grams of fiber, which is perfect. So a lot of people think that a gallon is a lot, but that is rookie numbers compared to my summer working at that Costa Rican pineapple farm. How do you open this thing up? No. Nope. Tastes straight from the source, like I usually extract my milks. Now, there are two goals of my meal, and that is to promote muscle growth in the farthest reaches of my family tree. And the second one is to keep my muscles fed for the next two to possibly three hours, we'll see. And uh, I'm excited for this one. This is my favorite of my nine meals of the day. we have the holy trinity of gains. Oatmeal, eggs, and protein powder, these are considered muscle building foods. You'll build more muscle if you eat these than if you didn't. One yolk surrounded by so many whites, I've not seen this little diversity since the capital was stormed. Like literally, this is the whitest meal I've had since I worked at the royal wedding. Here we go. Hmm, so bland. Where is the seasoning that you may ask? Nowhere to be found. Now I love what oatmeal does for me. It's very bland, but I always manage to find that nut taste. Mm. I know a lot of people will say that I'm old school because it's cow's milk, but I can get a nut around any corner I want. A cutoff tea is like a disease, choking the muscle that we know must be freed. So a cutoff tea is the epitome of less is more. Less material, more gains on display. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make the optimal cutoff that's gonna be our uniform for the rest of the day. So you wanna lie your t-shirt out, just like so, and then you kinda wanna eyeball from the next seam around, you know, most people do four. I like to add an extra inch, it's always fun. And then you're gonna cut down and then do a little kind of 90 degree sharp angle just below the armpit. I haven't done this much scissoring since uh, kindergarten, of course. And if it's cutting season, I like to do the kind of the crop top. It's like the male equivalent to the female under boob, but since it's bulking season, we're just gonna keep it normal as it is. And if you guys have some cut marks, like the scissors are not straight, it's totally fine, it looks a little bit rustic. And this is how you do the perfect cutoff. I have a lot of trust in you, Kofi, to make sure I don't have a milk stash. I don't want it to look like I earned another promotion at Fox News. Uh, but we have an appointment at 11.30. We are going for a spray tan because it makes you look bigger and it makes you look leaner. If you're gonna do it for the first time, it's gonna take some time to get the right color down because a few shades in the wrong direction and you're gonna look like you're ready for an interview at the Wonka factory. So I go, I'm thinking like maybe like, probably not that. That'd be probably too much for me. I'm just trying to look shredded. 
So this full entire spray takes 90 seconds. I usually expect a full spray within 30 seconds. So she said my skin in its natural state is a level one. We are going up to a level three. And because of YouTube, I gotta wear the undies. So where I need growth most, I'm not gonna get it. We're gonna put the stuff on right now and see what happens. The instructions were very in depth, so I'm kind of scared. All right, good luck. You can rock it. Yeah. I forgot to put the lotion on, Kobe. Choosing you look uh, golden. I feel darker. I feel like I'm one word away from getting canceled, but we cannot put our clothes on just yet. So I'm gonna do some posing in front of the mirror, and then we'll be on our way. Do I look any leaner? Yeah. Try quad flex. I have no quads though. I feel like Seabon has to watch out now. Might take that four peat, Seabon. Huh? Feeling like a million bucks after my tan. So having meal number two in the car before the gym, this is the pre-workout meal. And I'm pretty sure you guys can guess that it is some chicken breast, rice, and some broccoli. I'm not really recognizing myself right now. So we're balancing it out with some white meat chicken. Here we go. And I am starving. That took a little bit longer than expected. So my muscles are in a catabolic state right now. A lot of people in the science-based community will watch my day and be like, what the heck is this guy doing? It's not backed by science. Just because something is not considered optimal, it does not mean it's not effective. These things that I've been doing today have been done by some of the top bodybuilders to ever live long before all the science came out. So there must be some method to the madness, right? That's just how I see it. So we're gonna down the rest of this meal, head to the gym, and I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what we're gonna be training today. Today's workout is gonna be called chest assault, chest evolution destruction, unethical chest workout. Today's workout is gonna be called chest demolition. So the goal is to achieve as much DOMS as humanly possible to the point that I can't walk, similar to when I offered Groupon's sets and reps, unknown, the body will count for you. Our main focus, just like The Bachelor, is building a connection with our muscles. So let's get into it. The staple exercises of my routine are so intensely isolated, they still have not heard of the pandemic. So we're gonna be doing some hip adductor chest flies. And my only tip for you is just to go to failure. You wanna shuttle as much blood as you can into that muscle. Exercise one is done, and now there's a question. To carb or not to carb? Of course you carb. It provides quick energy to maximize every second of your workout. If you don't want to maximize every second, you may as well just be doing CrossFit. So, Kofi, which one should I have? I mean, you can have that donut right there. I can't implement the drop set donut just yet. Honestly, maybe the Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids, okay. So we did the pre-exhaust, the fly. Now we're gonna move on to our main press of the day, probably super set with something. I'm making it up on the spot because you gotta confuse our muscles. That exercise we just did, I'm never doing it again. Like the Roadrunner being chased by the Coyote, the bro's chase for the pump is never ending. So we're gonna be doing a triple set right now. Incline dumbbell press super set with incline close grip press super set with some cable chest flies again, just to absolute failure. Now do some half reps. Set the clock for one minute, and then we go again. You shouldn't be able to hug your grandma by now. Like, not happening. Instead of spotters, it's important to have somebody come and touch your muscle while you're performing the exercise. You can develop a deeper mind-muscle connection. It helps you activate that muscle even more. So for this last set, I'm gonna have somebody come and start tapping my muscle just to wake it up, bring more blood to the muscle. Squeeze, squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right there. Right there. Now over here. Now over there. 
So the next exercise we're gonna do is the hack squat chest press. It's unusual, I know, but at the top of the motion, it hits the upper chest, you get that nice shelf look. Very, very nice. So we're gonna bang this out and then finish off with some dips to failure. Okay, moving on. So the next thing we are doing is we are running the rack to test our muscular endurance for our cardio. Starting off with 30 pound dumbbells to failure, going all the way down to the lightest weight in the gym. If you start to get tired, you can change your curl to a hammer curl. Makes it a bit easier. So as you're gonna conclude the workout, we still have a little bit more to do. We got some posing, which is actually the hardest part of the whole workout. You really gotta contract the muscle and hold it for a long period of time. And then we're gonna figure out meal number three. Hi, can I get a uh, burrito bowl, please? Yeah. Um, can I just get the protein? Okay. Like all of them? Just not the sofritas. Okay. I just want to lose my game. By this point, you might not be hungry, but you gotta dig deep and just see if you really want it. This is where you decide if you want to play the game, that being bodybuilding. So I got a very well-balanced meal, I would say, that is all of the proteins at Chipotle. Uh, you know, I think she really hooked me up with the meat. I don't know if I should be happy about it or kind of insulted, thinking that she might think I'm small. I'm not even sure which meat is in my mouth, but you never really know until the very end anyway. I was considering getting cheese for some color. Guac would just block my body's anabolic pathways. Not worth it, definitely not worth $2. In terms of protein consumption for the day, because carbs and fat don't really matter, micros, what are those? I like to shoot for around two grams of protein per pound of body weight, so me being 190, Minimum 380 grams of protein, spaced out evenly between nine to 10 meals. I can feel the meat shuttling instantaneously in my mouth, shuttling and repairing my chest. Beautiful. What is all this stuff? Oh. Now, a bro's beef is not limited to somebody telling you to stop curling in the squat rack. Beef is an integral part of my daily routine. I have it every single night for dinner. So in terms of dairy, I always get the full fat option because it's about taking in thickness to create your own. These two bears have me dreaming of a different kind of sandwich, if you know what I mean. Now, there is a big debate for your morning carb. Is it gonna be oatmeal or is it gonna be cream of wheat? Me, personally, I have a different kind of cream reserved in the morning, so I always stick with the good old fashioned oats. And now for my favorite aisle. Grilling our steak does something that we don't want. It adds a ton of flavor. I personally can't think of anything better than submerging my meat into something hot and into something wet. So we are gonna boil our steak for safety, of course, but also to keep things clean. I like to think that this is what the cow would have wanted. So I got my water boiling and we're gonna drop our beautiful steak that everyone is very, very upset about into the water. Carbs, they are like the gremlins of the food world, becoming dangerous after dark. So we are avoiding them after our workout and our main kind of carb source with trace carbs is gonna be broccoli to go alongside our steak. My macro says I have 0.6 
grams of carbs left, so I think this should do it too. Okay. Time to take out our baptized steak. Hopefully it comes out similarly pure and tender. Nice and gray, just how I like it. All right, let's try a piece of this beautiful steak. You do always have to respect broccoli as it's eaten in its natural state all the time. It's like cauliflower's more confident and established older brother. Love this stuff. Nutrition is not rocket science. Protein, protein, protein. When it gets a little bit dark outside, you eliminate the carbs. And then if you want some fat for like your hormones and uh, your, your, uh, what's it? your health, then throw some in. But other than that, you know, it's just meat. Just constantly be eating every two hours and you'll, and you'll build muscle, you put on some weight. And that is the story that all should learn of the progress made towards a goal we yearn. A form of science and a little guidance one can surely achieve if you have enough powders and spirit to bravely believe. A boy turned bro whose progress won't slow. You could already know him before he wins his first show.